We have a grim economic warning for WA tradies tonight. The building industry is predicting 12,000 workers are about to lose their jobs. Far fewer homes will be built next year as demand dries up and the state's economy slows. First, it was miners. Now, it's builders. At least 12,000 construction workers will lose their jobs in the next 12 months. For the next two to three years, it's going to be tough times. As the work dries up, the Master Builders Association has a simple message. Tradies should head east. They will have that construction level activity going for some four to five years at least. So for those single construction workers who are quite happy to go to New South Wales and chase the work, there is the ability to go there. Here in WA, home construction is slowing. Last year, 31,000 new houses were built. This year, 25,000. The next, there'll be even fewer. 23,000. It comes as iron ore, the commodity that created the boom, today dropped to its lowest price in six years. 25% of its value has been wiped in just six weeks, tumbling to $43 a tonne. We're at the bottom of the cycle, I don't think there's any doubt about that, um, and it'll probably go up and down for some time. It is uh, pretty bad. It can probably get worse. Uh, we could well see the iron ore price going below 40, tighten our belts. It's all you can do. The one glimmer of hope for the WA economy is a greater share of the GST, and the Federal Treasurer, Scott Morrison, has indicated he's willing to play ball if WA undertakes economic reform, including deregulating shopping hours further, legalising services like Uber and toll roads. The Commonwealth is not going to make decisions on toll roads. That's a decision for the states. So which industries should WA workers turn to? A report from market research firm Ibis World Today says clothing shops, physiotherapy services, meat processing, oil and gas extraction and schools will show the fastest employment growth over the next five years. Oliver Peterson, 9 News.